Hey, it's Alex from Android Central, and it's time to take a look at what's new in developer preview 4 of Android P. This is the second to last preview build of Android P, and the third build as part of the Android beta program. At this point, we only have around a month and a half left until the final release of Android 9.0. According to Google's Dave Burke, this build is an early release candidate that'll be very close to the final version of Android P, and we're actually seeing quite a few interesting changes even compared to the Preview 3 release that landed just a few weeks ago. So hey, the back button looks different. The new smaller arrow style back key takes over from the hollow triangle that we saw in older builds, making a clean break with this design trend which dates all the way back to Android Lollipop. It works the same as before, but fits in just a little bit more cleanly into the new Android design language. The navbar is still a little asymmetrical, but this is probably as clean a look as you're going to get without getting rid of the back key completely, which I don't think Google is ready to do just yet. To counteract some of that lopsidedness, the space where the old recents key used to be now plays host to the manual rotation key or the keyboard key, depending on the situation. So the work Google started in the last preview to tighten up animations and the physics of the new swipe-up gesture for task switching has continued into the latest build. And the gesture input actually feels pretty solid at this point. I still don't think it's perfect, it still feels like change for change's sake a little bit, but what's there is fine. The tracking area for swiping through recent apps has been expanded in this new build. In older builds you had to slide through this small area over on the right, now the home key expands to fill the entire navbar, letting you scroll more quickly and easily. Weirdly, this build removes the option to share images and text directly from the overview menu. The option to do this is still there in the launcher, but when you long press, nothing happens. This is the most noticeable of a few small cosmetic and animation changes in the new build. Many of the settings icons used to be solid shapes, and now they lean more towards wireframe cutouts. It's a little bit like what we see from Samsung's UI these days, as well as being more in keeping with Google's material theme style that we're seeing in many of its newer apps. The dark mode that sprung to life on Pixel phones when you used a darker wallpaper has now been broken out into its own setting. You can choose to have it adjust based on your wallpaper colour like it did before, or lock it to the dark or light theme at all times. The default, of course, is still light. Beware though, the dark theme is pretty basic right now, and doesn't extend far outside the launcher and the notification shade. It also doesn't look great either, so hopefully it'll be given a bit more attention in the next build. With only a month or so of real development time left, it's no surprise that Android P Beta 3 is pretty stable at this point. Some of the bugs I noticed around Bluetooth and weird performance issues in the launcher have been squished in this latest build, which is great to see. So for many of us, this build really will be stable enough to use on your primary device. I certainly haven't come across any show-stopping bugs in the first day or so of use. Interestingly, one thing we're not seeing yet in these builds is Google's digital wellness features, the features that were explored on stage at Google I.O. this year, that are supposed to help you limit your use of certain apps or grey the screen out as bedtime approaches. They're not in this very nearly final build, and there have been unconfirmed reports that they'll be held back for an Android 9.1 release later in the year, after the Pixel 3 arrives. So that's going to wrap up our first quick look at what's new in Android P Beta 3. Just one more preview build to go before the final release, which is likely to drop sometime in late August. Stick with us on Android Central and subscribe to us here on YouTube for all the latest on Android 9.0's release approaches. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.